travel industry experts have done the research, and here's the deal. RV travel saves families money. I love that. This morning, Craig Coffee, Pikes Peak Travel Land, with more on this recreational option to hit the highway. Good morning, Craig. Good morning. That is right. We're talking about good old American travel, right, Randy? Absolutely. Traveling is the great American way. We uh, we travel so much in this country. I've, I've had the great opportunity to be back in Elkhart, Indiana, where they have the RV Mobile Home Hall of Fame back there, which is a museum that shows the history of RVing. Wow. And and the first motorhomes were built around 1910. No, well, come on. Yeah, that's true. What were those? Yeah, they were built on like an, a Ford Model T really? pickup chassis. Okay. Uh, and it was it was really bizarre though what they were doing back then. So I mean, we talk about the Great American Way. I mean, RVing is yeah. the Great American Way, Craig. <laughs> well, they've come a long way since 1910. <laughs> that they have. Yes, and uh, we're in one right now that I think this might be the most affordable for a family, right? Absolutely. I mean, this this little North Trail FX23 is a travel trailer. You can tow it behind a midsize SUV that's that's properly equipped to tow. You know, that's the one thing we have to do, and then. A person can buy one of these, and what we find is that a person that owns a motorhome will take spur of the moment trips, or as a motorhome or any RV for that matter, it doesn't have to be a motorhome, but they'll take spur of the moment trip. Let's go out for the weekend. Yeah. yeah. And gosh, here in Colorado, we're 45 minutes from some phenomenal campgrounds. So many places to go. That's the best part. And you can travel anywhere you want. Always take the back roads too. That's that's the real America, right? And let's talk decoration quickly here because when we see these different uh, RVs inside, like the fifth wheel this one do all all these options or everything comes standard or do you upgrade can you choose your own design inside no that now the american heritage that you looked at on a coach like that you can choose your design uh, to to a limitation the structural limitations but on the travel trailers the fifth wheels and in the more conventional motor homes those are typically built in maybe two or three different interior color combinations a little bit exterior color striping but everything is pretty much standard equipment with a few options and, and keep in mind that these RVs are all built to building codes for the RV industry. Okay. So any, anything that you put in them has to be approved by the industry. It's RVIA, Recreational Vehicle Industry Association. And they're the watchdog to make sure that these RVs are built to the proper electrical standards, the gas standards, the plumbing standards, just like a house that, okay. that you would live in at home. Okay. Yeah, it's all very safe. So what it comes down to, basically, whatever the missus likes, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Happy you wife, know, happy life. You know, you, 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 you we, we say that, but that is the fact of the matter is the woman is the buyer. <laughs> Otherwise, those road trips can be a long time. And guys, get used to it. It's reality. <laughs> okay. Hey, big lesson learned today. There you go. Uh, we're going to toss it back to the studio. And coming up, we're going to have more here from Pikes Peak Travel Land you don't want to miss. All right. Great coffee live. Thanks so much. Good stuff. Imparting wisdom this morning yeah. on Monday. Yeah, we like that.